Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters ahead of Election Day. We're taking a closer look at Rhode Island school bond issue. Voting yes would authorize $250 million in bonds over five years for public schools. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming joins us now. It's finally here, Joe. Yes, Mike. Finally. <laughs> Uh, voters are usually pretty generous when yes. it comes to bond questions. Yeah, in Rhode Why? Island, I very seldom see a bond question lose. I think Rhode Islanders feel they're going to put the money in to do, fix the infrastructure of the state. And on this school bond question, there's no question voters are strongly for it. Was this bond a little bit different than other bond issues? It was different because of the size of the bond, Mike. $250 million is a very large bond. I think it's the largest bond the voters have approved in Rhode Island up to this point. However, I think the schools last year, when we saw the frozen pipes, all the schools closing, the voters see the need now of this. And the polling data that I've seen shows it has a great deal of support at this point. Joe, let's take the town of North Providence, for example. They're building two brand new right. schools. So what about for communities even like Pawtucket that are already working on schools? Well, How do they fit in? My understanding is they will not be penalized because they've already started. I mean, places like North Providence, Pawtucket, they've taken some old schools and really fixed them up. They really look outstanding at this point. I think that gives voters more reasons why they want to approve this bond because it shows what you could do with the old buildings and fix up for a lot less money than building a brand new school. You had mentioned about frozen. And pipes. What about safety issues in some of these schools, well, too? Is that I think playing all, into it? I think all the safety issues could be addressed at the same time. You could put the doors in, you could put the uh, classroom set up for safety. All the things that you would need to protect the students in the building you could do when you revitalize these schools. Real quickly, Joe, we talk about voter turnout for the candidates. Does it really matter for something like this? Uh, it does, because you get a drop off when you get down the bond ref referendums. Less people vote for the bonds than they do for the top of the ballot. So it's important for the supporters of the bond to get the message out for the voters to go over there. That's the only way some of these bonds do lose. If enough people People don't vote for them. Any surprises with any of these bond questions? I don't expect any surprises tomorrow on the bonds. In the, as I said in the past, Rhode Island voters have always been very supportive of bonds. Okay, Joe, it's going to be a busy night oh, tomorrow yes. night. He'll be here <laughs> with us. Thank you, Joe. <laughs>